Shady Grove, my little miss. Shady Grove, my darling. Shady Grove, my little miss. Going back to Harlem. It's an all-star bluegrass celebration from the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. All the legends, the stars, the best of an American tradition with your host, Ricky Skaggs. Well, coffee grows on a white oak tree, the river flows with brandy, the rocks on the hills are covered with gold, and the girls are sweeter than candy. Shady Grove, my little miss, Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little miss, I'm going back to Harlem. It's always dark and cloudy Every time I see that guy I always tell her howdy Shady Grove, my little miss Shady Grove, my darling Shady Grove, my little miss Going back to Harlem Sunny, she's the darling of my heart. I love her better than honey. Shady Grove, my little miss. Shady Grove, my darling. Shady Grove, my little miss. Going back to Harlem. Shady Grove, my little miss. Shady Grove, my darling. Shady Grove, my little miss. Going back to Harlem. Yeah. And starring Vince Gill, Allison Krauss, and Union Station, featuring Jerry Douglas, Earl Scruggs. Ralph Stanley, Patty Loveless, Travis Tritt, The Del McCurry Band, Dan Tominski, Nickel Creek, Bruce Hornsby, and a tribute to the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe. to celebrate bluegrass music. And we hope to touch your hearts, lift your spirits, and get your feet moving. Bluegrass music is about real people and real people's lives, just like public television. To get the show started tonight, here's one of the best known names and voices in country music, and he'll never pass up a chance to do a little picking and singing. With one of the hottest bands in bluegrass and some of my very best friends, here's Vince Gill with the Del McCurry Band. Yeah! Thank you all very much. What a, uh, what a treat to be here, especially for me. Uh, as a lover of this music, I've uh, loved it since I was a kid, and uh, especially with PBS being a part of this tonight, um, it's a win-win for everybody. We're really honored to be here, and I'm thrilled to be playing with the Dale McCurry Band. They've uh, nicknamed me Vinny McCurry for this show. <laughs> the one they never talked about. <laughs> I 
When she came to the hospital, there wasn't much left. He ran out of road, he ran out of breath. But he smiled as she cried. Said, I'll give you my Vincent to ride. Beats a 52 Vincent and a red-headed girl Now Nortons and Indians and Greases won't do Ah, oh, they don't have a soul like a Vincent 52 And he reached for her hand and he slipped her the keys Said I don't have any further use for these I see angels on ales in leather and chrome Swooping down from heaven
Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I know it's got to be, I just, I love my dad so much, and he passed on a few years ago, and, and my my favorite times were being a little boy and, and sitting yeah. around and getting to play with my dad. I know it's got to be the greatest, you know, get to stand up there with your sons every night and, and play this music. It really is, Vince, but it's, there's nothing like playing with your sons, you know, I don't think. <laughs> well, it's got, you've got that. What I envy is that blood harmony, that family harmony. There's nothing better in the world than hearing family sing together. When I just was getting started, I was mesmerized by the whites and, and then really loved the way they all sang together. And just, it's got to be a blast. It seems that Ken folks, I don't know, they think alike, you know? Yeah. That a lot of times um, you have to do less rehearsing because you can get up there and... I don't know, you read each other's mind and, and <laughs> you know, things like that, don't you? <laughs> exactly. One of the most beautiful voices in bluegrass belongs to our next guest. She's a world-class fiddler with a world-class band. Please welcome Allison Krauss and Union Station featuring my old pal Jerry Douglas. you 
been a long time Let me touch you for a while In 1945, a young banjo player from North Carolina joined Bill Monroe's Bluegrass Boys, introducing the world to a new sound, the Earl Scruggs style of picking. Paired for the first time with guitarist Lester Flatt, Scruggs as a bluegrass boy helped create the most dynamic sound in bluegrass music history. By 1948, Flatt and Scruggs grew restless, and they left Monroe to form their own group. Driven by Earl Scruggs' distinctive and innovative three-finger style picking, the partnership proved to be one of the most successful acts in country music for the next 20 years. At their zenith in the 1960s, Flatt and Scruggs were national celebrities, crossing over to the pop charts and recording popular soundtracks for television and smash hit movies like Bonnie and Clyde. By the end of the decade, Flatt and Scruggs parted ways, and Earl Scruggs moved on to form the Earl Scruggs Review with his sons, Randy, Gary, and Steve, attracting another generation of fans by blending bluegrass with rock and country throughout the 70s. At 78, Earl is still the king of the five-string banjo, and anyone who picks one up is compared to him. Ladies and gentlemen, a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame and the Bluegrass Music Hall of Honor, the great Earl Scruggs and Mr. Travis Tritt.
have stood upon the mountain I have seen the other side Wrestled with the devil I have wrestled with my pride Been down in the valley I have stood out in the rain Seen the love forsaken Felt the pleasure and the pain There's one thing that's for certain One chord that rings true Open in the sea There's one thing that's for certain One chord that rings true yeah, It's a mighty world we live in But the truth is We're only passing through guest has come from the hills of Kentucky, where she was born, to the most prestigious honors in country music today. And she's got a great record out called Mountain Soul that proves she's never forgotten her roots. Please make welcome Patty Loveless. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Public Television, for what you're doing out there. God bless. Patty Loveless, folks. That was great. Please welcome my good buddy, Mr. Travis Tritt. What do you say, buddy? Let's do one here. Get it, boys. Free life she had when the baby now is a lady. One her mother could not sleep. Way down in the Blue Ridge Mountain. Way down where the tall pines grow. There's my sweetheart of the mountains. She's my little Georgia. She was my own sweetheart Way down in the Blue Ridge Mountain Way down where the tall pines go There's my sweetheart of the mountains She's my little Georgia Ralph Stanley has been a man of the mountains all his life. Born in the Clinch Mountains of Southwest Virginia in 1927, young Ralph learned the old claw hammer style of banjo picking from his mother Lucy. At the close of World War II, Ralph was attracted to music as a career and soon joined his older brother Carter to form a new band. Over the next 20 years, the Stanley brothers would make history with their haunting vocals and songs about loss, heartache, and hope for the life hereafter. Press onward, climb upward, the top is in view. There's crown right glory waiting for you. The Stanley brothers came to an end when Carter Stanley died suddenly in 1966. Broken-hearted but determined, Ralph decided to continue on as Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys. But instead of conforming to the times, Ralph reached deeper back into the mountains for his music. Sustained through hardships by the bluegrass festivals across the country, Stanley kept going with bands that spawned the next generation of bluegrass and country superstars. Stanley's high tenor has taken the high lonesome sound of bluegrass to a totally new level. 
After 55 years and counting, Stanley has been recognized with a membership in the Grand Ole Opry, the Living Legend Award granted by the Library of Congress, and platinum success for Ralph's contribution to the soundtrack, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man of constant sorrow himself, Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Now I'm going to call a fine little lady out to help me do a song that she sung with me on a CD that we made a few years ago called The Clinch Mountain Country. And this lady's from the great state of Kentucky. And a wonderful, my favorite singer, I guess, and all the ladies. Make welcome Patty Loveless. And You are? Okay, you say that to me tonight, but... Am I yours? Yes, you are, darling. Even oh. though my husband's here tonight. Okay. I, he I knows it now. I appreciate it. Are you ready for Pretty Polly? If you're ready for Pretty Polly. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Polly. Pretty Polly, would you take me in kind? Polly, pretty Polly, would you take me in kind? You just sit beside me and tell me your mind. Well, my mind is to marry and never to 
come and go along with me. Holly, pretty Polly, come and go along with me. Before we get married, some pleasure we'll see. like to sing with Ralph Stanley is you know um, it's it's a weird feeling that that I'm standing there and I'm looking at him and a part of me wants to cry because you know I'm thinking my dad's looking down on me like an mm-hmm I told you so and um, because there's been many kinds of music that I've gotten into and, and been very open-minded about music down through the years and and I've been a fan of anywhere from from uh, Loretta Lynn to a Patsy Cline to a Brenda Lee to a Merle Haggard and George Jones and then of course um, Elvis and then uh, then the Beatles and the Muckies and Journey and I mean you know and to be standing there and singing with someone such as um, a Ralph Stanley uh, it, it's almost like I'm standing you know with somebody like Elvis he's the king of mountain soul Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Right now, I'd like to do your song, and I sung on Old Brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> Hit me a big G, James. Till another year 
Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? Well, I am death. None can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, death, someone would pray. Could you wait to call me another day? The children prayed. The preacher preached. Time and mercy are out of your reach. I'll fix your feet. No, you can't walk. I'll lock your jaws till you can't talk. I'll close your eyes till you can't see. This very hour, come and go with me. Death, I come to take the soul. Leave the body and leave it cold. To drop the flesh right off the frame. The earth and worms both have a claim. Oh, death. Oh, 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 death. Won't you spare me over? Till another year Won't you spare me over Till another year Thank you. Legends are enshrined at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in Nashville. But some legends are bigger than the buildings that house their tributes. Bill Monroe is one of these legends. Very few artists are considered to be innovators of a type of music. But Bill Monroe invented bluegrass. He could hear the ancient tones, the music of our Scots-Irish ancestors who lived hard and died in the mountains of southern Appalachia. And he could also hear the blues that drifted up the Mississippi River through Bill Street and into America's heartland. And when the two came together in Bill Monroe's music, it was bluegrass. And it was something very unique and truly American. Before there was bluegrass, there was a string band featuring two brothers from rural Kentucky. Bill and Charlie Monroe toiled at success for almost 15 years, beginning in the 1920s. But real success did not come for Bill Monroe until he went his own way in the late 30s. Bill surrounded himself with new players, the Bluegrass Boys, to create a new sound. And when Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs joined the band in the mid-40s, the sound began to take shape. As instrumental solos became more improvisational, and the tempo driven by Monroe's mandolin went into overdrive. Bluegrass evolved, as did Monroe's band. The players changed, but Bill Monroe remained at the center, influencing generations of bluegrass players for the next 50 years. His songwriting defined the sound and drove the performance of his band. And the lyrics told stories that moved all who listened. It was on a night, the stars shining bright, when they whispered from on high, you love to say goodbye. Bill Monroe lived bluegrass until he passed away in 1996. Bill Monroe is gone, but bluegrass lives. It lives on in everyone he touched. And said goodbye. Uncle Penn, here we go. <laughs> Boston boy. 
This next guy was never a bluegrass boy, that's for sure. But one thing is for sure, he loves the music. And he's such a master of his instrument that he can take any style of music and turn it into his very own. Now for something a little bit different, please welcome my good friend, Mr. Bruce Hornsby. Yeah.
Hornsby, folks. I tell you, that's awesome right there. Now, that's good music. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Bluegrass music has a long history, and it has a long future ahead of it, too. And our next act proves that you can take the best of tradition and create something truly original from it. Welcome one of the hottest new groups in bluegrass music, Nickel Creek.
Nickel Creek. Thank you, guys. Great. Thanks, Sarah. Folks, I'd like to thank all my guests tonight. Vince Gill, Del McCurry, Allison Krause and Union Station, Dan Tominski, Travis Tritt, Patty Loveless, Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys, Earl Scruggs, Randy Scruggs, Gary Scruggs, Ricky Scruggs, uh, no, uh, Nickel Creek, and Bruce Hornsby. And thanks to all our friends at Public Television. God bless you. We love you. Here's a song that Mr. Earl Scruggs plays better than anybody. Here's Lonesome Reuben. All right, Earl.
Mr. Earl Scruggs. Earl, thank you for the great music all these years. God bless you. He's the man. Thank you, Earl. This next man was the first, uh, he and his brother Carter was the first uh, band to follow Bill Monroe's style of music. And uh, he is such a wonderful banjo player and singer. And we've got all these great musicians around here that just love you. Uh, Ralph Stanley. Uh, we, thank your, we thank your tops. Oh, dear. I've been, I've been practicing. Oh, dear. I got, I got, I'm still working on it. We got to do Little Maggie. This is one of Ralph Stanley's most famous songs. Here we go, boys. This is Rawhide, all right? Rolling, rolling, rolling.
Good night, folks. Thanks for being with us tonight. We appreciate it so much. The boys in the band. <laughs> and Sarah. Thank you folks so much. God bless you. We really appreciate it. Good night, everybody. <laughs>